Morning, everybody. Saturday, isn't it? Favourite day of the week. <clears throat> this is that same little girl. I've been cuddling her for about half an hour or more. This is the one, which I keep telling you, but this is the one that Elizabeth had and was growling like a mofo wanting to, uh, wanting to kill you. And, you know, a bit of love and attention with her because she was just petrified. All she wants to do is snuggle and kiss you. All she wants. No growling, no biting. Just, Daddy, I just want to be on your neck and play with you. Now, that's the same raccoon that was growling and wanting to kill us. Now, I said in the, one of the other videos, they all don't turn out like this. Some of them stay that cranky way, and that's fine. That's kind of, in some ways, better. Not for us, but I mean, you know, they know that they're going to hate people and never be near them because you know, we all hate them, really, don't we, out there, people? People that hurt animals, we detest them. Um, but yeah, she's so sweet. Look, hanging on with the back foot. She's going down the back, but she's hanging on to my thumb so that she knows she's not too far away. But she's just the sweetest little girl. She really, really is. Look, now she's chewing on my finger. Hasn't got a nasty little bone in her body. Just absolutely petrified. That's all she was. And uh, <clears throat> as I say, they're just so sweet. You know, when, we, when, we first, when you first start doing this, like the rehabbing, and you get one that's growling and wanting to tear you a new one, we, we actually burrito wrap them so they can't get you. And then they, and you shove the bottle in, they go, and they quieten down. And then what we do, we just touch them like this. You know, we pat them and rub their head. They can't bite you. At this age, if they bite, they're not doing anything bad anyway. Yeah, you're not doing anything bad. Um, but, uh, and then slowly but surely, they start to, hello, Chance, you're in front of the video, darling. <laughs> it's a good boy. Yeah. Um, he's so beautiful, truly. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I've lost my train of thought now. I forget what I was saying because I got so enamoured with Chance. Hmm. Wasn't me. No, <laughs> no, with both of them. Wasn't distracted by me. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, this is this is Viola. I remembered her name. Uh, yes. Viola or it's Viola? Viola. Viola. Yeah, oh, she's a. I'm sure it's Viola. Yeah, she's a sweet little girl, is what she is. But uh, she's becoming fast as little favourite, aren't you? But you know what's funny, guys? I was saying Elizabeth a little earlier. Viola here is beautiful. But it's only a certain animal that we have, and, and this is no disrespect to any of you guys out there, that somehow grabs your attention and becomes famous. I'm talking about the chance, chances of this world, the bandits of this world, Scooby Ernie. Buddy. Well, yeah, Ernie. Uh, Scooby and Buddy, because they're disabled, I get it. But Bandit wasn't. But, you know, she, she just became like a, an internet sensation, so to speak, a real big favourite of yours. Yet we have beautiful ones like this that just don't go anywhere. Not that that's a problem, but it's just interesting to see uh, who grabs your fancy and who doesn't. But certainly Little Chance has grabbed everybody's fancy when we uh, do videos of him. And he's running around here at the moment like a mental patient. Um, he's back and forth. Uh, he'll get thousands and thousands of views because people just adore him. And he's just a little kitten, but he's just absolutely adorable. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a lovely Saturday. My favourite day. I need to go and freeze this right now, right at this time. Having a coffee here with the animals. We've got stuff happening here. Got the little snuggler over here. Doesn't get any better than this for me, guys. It really does not. Okay, see ya.